So let's start by looking over the CVX1 and let's have a look at how we can make up a compilation CD. On the rear of the CDX1, we have a number of inputs that can take everything from professional microphones to electric guitars and basses, line-level RCA inputs like those that might come from another CD player or cassette, and we even have digital inputs. If you have some old LPs, you'll probably need to place that uh, turntable into the preamp section of a stereo system and then the output of that stereo system into the line ends here. I actually just have a little cassette player just for uh, demonstration purposes. And I have some old tunes here on cassette that I'm going to record into here straight. So I've taken the output of this guy here and placed it into the uh, inputs in the back of the CDX1. Now, like any recording, well, the first thing we need to do is really set up our recording levels. The proper recording levels are key. If we set them too low, we'll have a noisy recording. If we set it too high, we'll have distortion. Like many professional recorders, the CDX1 has a number of places to set levels in the input sensitivity knobs and then the input recording level. First, let's select the input that we're going to be using. In this case, this will be the left and right ends. We can then adjust the sensitivity of the input up to its highest level that we can without causing this little peak light to come on. Let's go ahead and press play. We'll bring this up. It looks like we can have it up about here, probably nearly to the maximum. And then we can adjust the input record level here so that the level gets right up here to the line without actually going over. Perfect, we now have our level set, but before we go forward, let me quickly uh, explain to you the different types of CDs that you can record to, and there are basically three types. The first one's CDRs, they're the ones that you'll typically pick up at your local computer store for backing up data on your PC. They're called CDRs because you can record to them. CDRWs are a little bit uh, more intelligent in that you can rewrite to them, you can record to them, but can also erase data and kind of move data around. And finally, there's CD audio recordables that allow you to record audio directly to them. Now, some manuals have said on the, on the uh, CDX1 have said that the last ones, the CD audio recordables, are the only ones that you can record on the fly to. Uh, actually, current models of the CDX1, which is probably the one you have right now, can either use the CDRs or the CD, CD audio recordables. So just make a note of that in your manual. Place either a regular CDR or CD.